Do you know six Hiroshima's have happened to Gaza in the past 40 days, 30 days? You're crying for us? She said, but we're so happy. She said, we have Allah. The most said word in Gaza right now is Alhamdulillah. Do you know that? Wallahi. The people run into the streets and some of the mothers hand out sweets and say Alhamdulillah, not because they love death for their children. No, we are not a death cult. We are a religion of life. We are a religion that loves children. But we accept shaheed and we accept the qadr of Allah. And these people understand what is being asked of them. May Allah grant them all the highest of Jannah. They hand out sweets. There was a family I know in Bayat Hanun. Bayat Hanun no longer exists. Do you know six Hiroshima's have happened to Gaza in the past 40 days, 30 days? Six Hiroshima's. Bayat Hanun is gone. But this day I was in Bayat Hanun and I went to visit a poor family and the mother's name was Iman and she showed me her 11 children and she introduced them by their name and their injury. Omar was six, but he looked four. They're very stunted with hunger and he had scarring up his legs and the scarring was from white phosphorus, which is napalm of the 21st century. It gives you cancer, they think. She introduced me to her 16-year-old son, mashallah, tall, attractive young man going with dreams of going to university. He had a big plaster on his leg. She pulled it off casually. He had a bullet in his shin, shot by an Israeli sniper outside his home. But there were two little girls that really touched me in the empty room, sitting, rocking like this. And I said, what's wrong with them? She said, we don't know, but they haven't talked since 2008, and we think it's shell shock. Subhanallah. I went into a back room to pray Maghrib, and I started to cry. When I was in sujood, the tears left my eyes so hard, I thought I was going to go blind. And I thought of Yaqub, alayhi salam, and how he grieved for his son, Yusuf, and I thought, yes, you can go blind from grief. And this mother put her hand on my shoulder and said, Miss, why are you crying? I said, I'm crying for you. I'm crying because your children are going to keep getting killed and nobody's doing anything. And I'm crying because the world knows and they're not going to help you. And I'm crying because I'm here and I can't help you. And she looked at me strangely and she said, you're crying for us? I said, yes. She said, but we're so happy. She said, we have Allah and Allah loves us. And he's told us that if we are steadfast and patient, it's Jannah, alhamdulillah.